Hey everyone, Devin Burke, founder of Empowerment Wellness Solutions and creator of the Healthy Eating in the 21st Century program. And in this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to beat your bloat by greatly improving your digestion. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the very end because we have a great Healthy in 21 challenge for you this week. When it comes to improving digestion, most people think it only has to do with what we're eating, but actually what's equally important is how we eat. But before we get into how to optimize your digestion to beat that bloat, let's first take a quick quiz to see how much you actually know about digestion. So get out a pen or paper and get ready to take some notes. Question number one, where does digestion begin? The stomach, the mouth, the gut, or the esophagus, or large intestine? If you answered mouth, you're correct. Our mouths contain digestive enzymes that break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Question number two. How many minutes does it take for your stomach to communicate to your brain that you are full? Five to 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, or two to three minutes? The answer is 20 minutes. During this time, receptors inform our brain that our body is receiving nutrients by sending hormone signals. If you eat too fast, these hormones may not have enough time to properly communicate, which could cause you to overeat. Question number three, true or false, your stomach can shrink and stretch. This is a trick question. The answer is both. If you consistently overeat, your stomach can actually slightly stretch, which could throw off your hunger and full hormone signaling. One study published in the American Journal of the Clinical Nutrition found that obese patients were able to reduce the size of their stomachs by 27% in four weeks by simply eating less. So in essence, your stomach, if your stomach is stretched from eating too much, you can shrink it back to its natural size by eating less. Question number four, what are the substances called that help break down the food in our bodies during the digestive process? Enzymes, microbiome, probiotics, or bacterium? The answer is enzymes. Enzymes are the catalysts that help break down our food. Our bodies produce digested enzymes and the food we eat consumes enzymes that work in synergy to help the digestive process. In some cases, due to the overconsumption of processed foods and unhealthy lifestyle habits such as consuming too much alcohol or being overly exposed to antibiotics, our bodies may lack the necessary digestive enzymes. And in this case, it's helpful to supplement with a good digestive enzyme. So how'd you do? If you got two or more questions wrong, looks like it's time for a crash course in digestion. If you got them all right, there's still a lot you can learn. So digestion actually begins in the mouth, where contact with our teeth and digestive enzymes in our saliva start the breakdown of food. But in our fast-paced 21st century world, most of us rush the whole eating experience, barely acknowledging what we're putting in our mouths. We eat while distracted, working, reading, talking, watching television, and tend to swallow our food practically whole. On average, we only chew each bite eight times, where we should be chewing 20 to 30 times. It's no wonder so many people have digestive problems today. Eating food in states of stress while distracted negatively affects how we digest our food. By not chewing your food and eating in a stressful, distracted state, you could be the cause of your unwanted bloating, indigestion, indigestion, and acid reflux. By simply chewing your food 20 to 30 times and eating in a calm, present state, you're gonna experience a huge improvement in your overall digestion and health. Here are my four reasons you're gonna to wanna to start to really chew your food. Number one is saliva breaks down food into simple sugars, creating a sweet taste. So the more you chew, the sweeter your food becomes, so we won't crave those after meal sweets. Number two, chewing reduces digestive distress and improves assimilation, which also helps our body absorb the maximum nutrition from each bite of food. More chewing also produces endorphins, the brain's chemicals responsible for creating those good feelings. Number three, chewing your food is also helpful for weight loss because when we're chewing well, we're also more apt to feeling full. Just simply chewing your food 20, 30 times before swallowing can promote increased circulation, enhance immunity, increase energy and endurance, as well as improve skin health and even help stabilize your weight. Number four, taking time with a meal, beginning with the chewing process, allows for enjoyment of the whole experience of eating, the smells, the flavors, the textures. It also helps us give thanks and show appreciation for the abundance we have in our lives 
and to develop patience and self-control around the food we're eating. The power of chewing is so great that there are stories of concentration camp survivors who, when others could not, made it through with very little food by chewing their meager rations up to 300 times per bite. For most of us, 300 chews is a daunting and unrealistic goal. However, you can experience the benefits of chewing simply by increasing your, the amount of chewing by 30 times per bite. Okay, so it's time for this week's Healthy in 21 Challenge. This week, I challenge you to commit to eating without any distractions. This means turning your phone on silent, leaving them in the other room, eating at the table instead of in front of the TV, and eating in a calm, present, relaxed state. This challenge may be difficult, but I know you can do it. So take note of any changes you feel as you practice eating in the with your food, and give this a try, and I promise you're gonna feel calmer, more focused, energized, and less bloated. Be sure to leave a comment below and share your experiences so that we can encourage and engage with others on this week's Healthy Eating in 21 Challenge. Happy chewing, and until next week, live passionately on purpose. Hey guys, it's Devin Burke here, and I wanted to thank you for watching and taking a massive step forward in your own personal wellness journey. You have three options right now to continue creating the happiest, healthiest, and most fulfilled version of you. First, you can subscribe to my channel right here where I'll be posting weekly videos with amazing content to help you feel and look your best. Second, you can get free access to my five-day lifestyle cleanse by clicking any of the buttons right here. Or third, you can sign up for my newsletter by visiting my website to continue receiving amazing health and wellness information, special offers, as well as updates on my courses, special events, and workshops. I look forward to seeing you next week, and until then, remember to making small changes that lasting results are experienced. Make today extraordinary, and I'll see you next week.